Like many other people, I stumbled upon customer success. And I was curious to know what the concept was, if there is a career path in this profession, and how to navigate my way around, how do I compete, and where do I even start from, if there is a career path. So all this were my thoughts at the early stage. And I'm sharing this video to encourage somebody who might have also been at that level or who is currently at that level questioning things about customer success. Do I have a path forward here? Is there something that I can do better for myself? How can I grow my career in this perspective? What do I need to do differently? How can I set goals for myself at each stage? What do I need to expect at each level of my career? This is the reason why I'm putting out this video and hoping that you're going to learn one or two things from it. Hi, good to have you back again. If you're new here, my name is Grace Boboye. I'm a Senior Customer Success Manager. On today's video, we'll be discussing the career path in customer success and how you can set goals for yourself at each point. Don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel so that you can get notification every time there is a new video. I stumbled upon customer success, and at my early stage, I was curious to know what the concept was, what I needed to do differently, and how I needed to navigate my way. And importantly, if there is a career path in this profession, you know, you've chosen a profession, you want to know if you can grow in this career, or if you need to look for other alternatives. So those were my question at the time. And this is one of the reasons why I'm putting out this video. If you're somebody that is also questioning things at this stage, if you're interested in customer success, but you don't really have like a clear path or a clear view of what to expect at each point, or if you're somebody that you already have um, knowledge about the career paths in this profession, but you still don't know what to expect or you don't know how to set goals for yourself at each stage, this video is for you. So, um, back to my story, I was thinking, how can I navigate the space? There are so many information on the internet. I have access to it. LinkedIn, people are fantastic, but I don't even know how to get started. What kind of roles do I need to apply for? Or how do I find my way in customer success? As of today, I will tell you that personally, I know of five major parts in customer success, and this is going to be the basis of our discussion today. I'm going to share these five parts with you, what is expected at each level of this road, and importantly, how can you set goals for yourself at each point? If you are in point A, how can you set goals? What, can you, what do you need to do to get to point B? If you are in point B, what do you need to do differently? How do you learn? How do you grow on the job so that you can get to point C? That is what I'm going to share with you today. So for these five parts, I've been able to classify it into three major um, roles. We have the entry level, we have the mid level, and then we have the managerial level or the C levels. The entry level role that is where you have um, customer success agents, customer success associates, um, or customer success specialists. These are entry level roles. I need to mention that different companies, they address customer success with different names. So some people might not even highlight it as customer success. It can be customer advocates. If you are seeing all those type of job titles, then you know that these are entry level roles and if you're looking for how to enter into customer success how to get started or how to transition this is the best place for you to start because this role will give you access to a lot of information it will expose you to the concept of customer success like what is onboarding what is expected of you as a customer success agent what do you need to do at every point in time when you are interacting with customers? How can you communicate better? These are the things that you will learn as an entry level 
officer in customer success role it is important for you to be to have open mind to be open to learning because you practically need to admit that you don't have all the information at those points right well nobody has all the information anyways but you need to be open to learning that is what i'm trying to say to embrace um all the new changes that comes on the job how do i interact with customers like how do i have meaningful conversation it is on this road that you will learn that how do i give feedback to my managers how do i communicate what my customer has told me and translate it effectively how do i make my customers adopt our products and services if your role also entails onboarding how can i properly onboard a customer what are the tools that i need to learn so um talking about tools different companies have their own tools it's fine if you don't have knowledge about all the tools you don't have to worry about that most companies they train you on how to use their tools as soon as you get employed i need to also mention that it is less technical and you don't need to have all the technical details you don't need to know how to use css or html and all that it is less technical and you can easily navigate your way through just be open to learn for the second um, category we have the mid-level roles this is where you you have mid-market customer success manager enterprise customer success manager these are mid-level roles they are just a bit higher than the entry level roles and over here you know i mentioned earlier that in the first category entry level roles you need to learn a lot of things communication um processes of the cost of the company the tools you need how to relay feedbacks how to make your customers adopt your product so in this mid-level roles you're expected to have all this knowledge already you're not a starter but you're still learning and learning never stops in customer success you're dealing here with account management you're dealing with core account management trying to know what your customers are doing at every point in time how can you upsell to your customers how can you cross sell to them how can you expand their usage of your products so these are the things you're going to do and you're going to collaborate more with other team members to achieve this you're going to collaborate with the product team when it comes to maybe product usage product adoption you're going to collaborate if you have an onboarding team separately you collaborate with the onboarding team to know what their use case are at the start of their relationship with your company you're going to collaborate with customer support to know the number of high priority cases they've submitted in the past month in the past week and how important these cases are were they resolved if not was there a workaround provided for your customer these are the things that you need to like do a deep dive to get more information about your customers so that you can use all this information together to build solid relationship with them upsell to them and even expand their usage to other regions if they have other regions on this role um the mid-level role you're likely to handle um top account i'm not going to give a number because number varies by company but be sure that you're going to hire and do high paying accounts and they would expect more from you your customers are paid more to get your service as a company to use your products so they would expect the best from you if you don't have team collaboration skills this is the best time for you to look into it actually you should have learned it during your entry level role but it is still not too late for you to learn how to collaborate with team how to have good and deep dive conversation have questions points that can serve as a basis of your conversation you don't just have conversation for having conversation sake you need to communicate better so that you can dig into the aspect of your customers that are beneficial to you as a company and also to them as a customer i also need to mention that 
part of the mid-level role, we have the technical CSM. You must have seen something like success engineer. These are, these are more technical and they develop tools or processes that can help your customers have better experience in the company. That is what customer success engineer does. And they're expected to have technical knowledge of the products. Don't get me wrong, if you're a CSM as well, either an entry-level CSM or a senior CSM, um, mid-level CSM, you still need to have like more information about the product. You need to know how your product work. But for a technical CSM, you need to understand how can this product work? What are the tools that we need to make it work? You, you sh it is important for you to have knowledge of CSS, HTMLs, maybe JavaScript. I'm sure if you've come across some of the CS rules, you would see that these are specific requirements and they would need you sometimes to have to know how to use some basic tools. Some people will ask you if you, if you have an idea of GitHub or other, other tools or other platform like that, because these are the platforms that you will be working with. Um, another role in the mid-level role is a data customer success data analyst. From the word, you already know that you will be interpreting data, making forecasts, like using data to make informed decision for your team or interpret it for the management team to understand and forecast customers' behavior. Lastly, we have the managerial CSM or the C-levels. This is where you hear manager of customer success, VP of customer success, head of customer success, president of customer success, chief customer success officer, and all that. If you've seen the part that I've mentioned, from entry-level role, you can get to mid-level role. From mid-level role, you have opportunity to get to a senior or managerial role. And I need to point out that the, the, the path is not a two-year journey, it's not a three-year journey. For some people that I've seen, they've had like 10 years career in customer success before they could become a chief customer success officer. It requires a lot of critical thinking, exposure, experience. You, you can't just be a customer success in one day and then the next minute you want to move to managerial role. It is not done that way. Life is a process. You have to go through that journey to learn what to do at each point. But it is also important that when you are um, at the entry-level role, when you're performing your duty as an entry-level CSM, you can look up to somebody that is a mid-market CSM or a senior CSM or an enterprise CSM and learn from them. How do they communicate? I want to be like this person. What do I need to do at every point? And those were the things I've highlighted for you earlier. If you're still looking for ways to transition, you have to start looking for entry-level roles in customer success. Start applying. Start going through their, um, the job profile. What is expected of you? Start learning concepts about onboarding, customer retention, product adoption, effective communication. Start building your skills. Don't wait until you get the job offer. Remember that there is a lot of competition out there. And you need to build yourself and prepare for opportunities so that when it comes, you're already prepared. Look for um, the regular tools that you can use in customer success. I promise there's going to be another video where we're going to discuss the tools that you can use as a customer success officer or manager. Just get familiar with this tool. I hope that you've learned one or two things from this video and don't forget to drop your feedback in the comment section. Also, like, share and click the subscribe button so that you can get notification when we have new content. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day ahead. Bye.